hope you're on the way already. Yeah, I'm on the way to work now. I can see KLCC. Uh. What? I can see KLCC. It's right there. KLCC? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I see you at the office. I see you at the office. KLCC? We got KLCC here. The meeting is starting real soon. Okay, take a picture and show me right now. Where are you? Boss, I'm running over and I don't know how can I take a good shot. But I try, yeah, boss. Hmm. Why so blurry, eh? Yeah? Is that a yoga mat? <laughs> Don't you have a sense of urgency? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in the alley. Hello? 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 Hey, you semua sama je lah. Why can't you be punctual? I've locked down your calendar from a week ago. But... No, 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 but, but, but trying to come up with the same excuse, huh? I've memorized every single one of them and I'm so sick of it! <sighs> I'm so done with all of them. Hopeless. I came on time. Hi guys, thank you for watching our video. If you like our video, don't forget to follow us on our social media. And remember to like, share and comment on this video. We'll see you next week. Bye! Assalamualaikum, good afternoon to everyone who's watching in their homes uh, Mungkin ada yang kena bekerja hari ini, tak apa, it's okay ha, Make sure habis kerja terus balik rumah dan berbuka bersama dengan keluarga, okay And thank you so much for joining saya Ira Mohd Amin yang saya akan jadi host anda Untuk kita punya first ever session staying safe with your child by Johnson I'm so excited, okay, because I'm a mother and I really want to know apa yang menarik tentang kita punya topik hari ini, okay? And also, sambil-sambil tu, Ida nak ajak korang semua, jom kita terus saja support Shopee MMA COVID-19 Fund by donating today. Macam mana kita nak donate? Macam mana kita nak beli sumbangan? Senang saja. There are values of RM5, RM10, RM30, RM50, RM100 and also RM500 for donation in our shopping bag dekat bawah ni. And if you like to donate, uh, korang boleh select the values and 100% of your donation will be channeled to Malaysian Medical Association Foundation and MAF, okay? So thank you in advance to you guys yang telah pun memberikan sumbangan. I hope this one dapatlah kita sama-sama membantu frontliners kita dan kita sama-sama mengambil apa kita punya part in this, um, you know, Shopee COVID-19 initiative, okay? Hashtag kita jaga kita. Ha, okay, okay, okay. Are you guys ready? I'm going macam party. No, no, no. Nak aku tengah tidur. Jangan nak party sangat. Okay. So, I know that the past week has been very confusion, fear and anxiety. Especially for new moms and pregnant moms. Betul tak? Ah, saya ada adik ipar saya mengandung sekarang ini. Dia kalau nak pergi check up pun dia risau sangat-sangat. Ah, okay. That is why today Johnson's baby has invited a pediatric expert to help ease your worries and answer your questions about how to protect moms and their newborn in this time of COVID-19. So we will be addressing your concerns on newborn care and protection including proper hygiene, touch and more at a time of this global pandemic. Alright guys. And yang pastinya today we are honoured to have with us Dr. Chin Wai Siang, a consultant pediatrician who is very passionate with educating parents in infant management. So I want to welcome you guys. Hello Dr. Chin. Hi, good afternoon everybody. Yes. Apa kabar? I'm good. Yeah, I just finished my <laughs> clinic. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Okay, so uh, how is it like for you for, for this past, uh, I don't know, more than a month, this MCO, how is it like for you, yourself? I will say this something's a new normal life, 
that yeah. everybody has to adopt, right? Not only mm-hmm. from the family, even my clinic also, we have transformed a lot to uh, make the patient safe when they come to our clinic. Mm-hmm. All right. So thank you so much for your time for joining us today, Dr. Chen. Okay. Right. So before kita nak start ni, um, I'm so excited sebenarnya because uh, here with me, I have a couple of questions sebenarnya. Banyak question kita dapat sebenarnya dari parents tapi kita pilih lah eh. Uh, that was submitted by us mums. Okay. Dr. Chen will be addressing these questions one by one and later on, if kita ada time, we also go through some of the questions in the comment section. All right. So feel free for you guys semua mungkin nak ada soalan dan sebagainya boleh tanya dekat bahagian komen di bawah ini uh, you know about management of newborns at this time and before we begin the views and opinions um apa ni um uh, just uh, kita just harap anda semua uh, apa ni uh, terus stay tune okay and terus saja menonton ini okay ah uh, like i said it's now the views and opinions expressed on the show by the uh, by me and dr experts do not reflect the views of johnson johnson on, on its or its management so let's start now to the juni 423 kata hi dr chen hi good afternoon everybody wow. Yes, I think ramai orang tak tak kenal Dr. Chi ni kan. Maybe dia orang uh, dia orang punya anak Dr. Chi ni kan. Maybe dia orang uh, dia orang punya anak punya anak you jadi dah bibi doktor kot. Maybe lah. <laughs> okay, let us first talk about probably one of the top concerns by moms today. First concern dia adalah going out of the house and going to hospitals. Yes. So, um, you know, people are advised to stay home and not go out unless uh, it's for essentials, kan? With a newborn, for a mommy who has just given birth to a newborn, is it safe for her to bring her baby to visit the pediatrician in the clinic or hospital? If yes, what precautions are done by the medical facilities to ensure safety of customers? Yeah, I think uh, we know that this uh, COVID virus transfer by the tablet, all right? Other than the, all the masks must be worn on the face, sanitizer mm-hmm. that the family member must do. So when mm-hmm. it's necessary, the baby have to see pediatrician. So I think clinic in hospital, like my clinic, we have to do a lot of free, uh, modification. The most important is the hygiene. So we right. try to reduce, we try to reduce patient load in our clinic. So some mm-hmm. of them can be settled by phone consultation. Yeah. Right. So if really necessary, they come to the clinic. So the hospital or the clinic should go for the appointment basis to reduce mm-hmm. the crowd in the waiting area. Right. right. So in my clinic, we practice like one child, one parent to come in one by one to yeah. see the doctor. Okay. Yeah. And those who really come for the vaccination, which we're going to talk about later, we okay. try to make it either two ways in the designated room, not mixed mm-hmm. with the sick children. Right. Mm-hmm. Or in my clinic, I try to give vaccination in the car. In, in the car? Yeah. So we try to wow. minimize the contact or the hours spent in the clinic itself. Because right. uh, refer to the guideline by the Ministry of Health, the close mm-hmm. contact should be within one meter Right. Let's say about 15 minutes, one meter contact with the COVID positive patient. Oh. Or in a closed compartment like an aircon condition, although you are mm-hmm. one meter apart, mm-hmm. but if you spend about two hours in that compartment with the COVID positive patient, you are considered close contact. Right. So meaning if like uh, you said you do it in the car, meaning what is a kind of a drive through kind of uh, yeah. treatment? Ke jana? <laughs> yeah, so I try to allocate, like for example, my clinic in the shop lot. So I try to allocate the two parking in front of the shop, special oh. for the vaccination. So oh. by phone, they call us, then the parents, one, per- one parent should come to the entrance. We have to make sure the vaccine is correct. So once we prepare everything, we'll go out, of course, with the uh, gown and the face mask, sanitize oh, nice. our hand. And inject yes. her baby in the car. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, because um, let's give vaccination to maybe we can talk about that little more deep, little more 
kuantiti ataupun lebih lebih banyak lagi jat lagi okey a uh, maybe uh, kita boleh bincang you know something else uh, yang question yang seterusnya okey the second concern a uh, ramai mummies okey or pregnant moms yang mungkin dah dah nak 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 deliver dah ni kan a uh, you know they always like ask can i touch my newborn baby a uh, sebab yang mereka kata ni most of them they like concern that they may transmit the virus to their baby cuz uh, she is sick okay because my baby is very dependent on me katanya uh, for breastfeeding and sleeping and is it safe to touch baby like breastfeeding okay. i think first thing we should think about the importance of touching Right? right it's a skin bonding yeah not only mm. that the this mother also transfer the good skin flora the good germ from the skin to the baby okay mm -hmm. and also this also will help the child the baby to develop the five senses like the vision hearing smell and don't forget about the touching if you see mm -hmm. in the animal world right the the, the mom uh, to cuddle to heart or to lick uh, the, the baby small baby so our human mm -hmm. also the same the so baby will feel the sense of secure yeah? yeah not only touching in fact you can do some mm -hmm. massage yeah this also in, mm -hmm. induce a good breast circulation right during True. the sleeping mm -hmm. time or even the during the bathing time all right yes this posture is very important for the child to have this a sense of secure and kind of a development for their brain but mm -hmm. now even without the covid outbreak i think when a uh, child is born they are, of mm -hmm. course, they are very prone to get infection. I think mm -hmm. the self personal hygiene very important. You have to, and, mm -hmm. and now at this moment, the COVID-19, yeah, mm -hmm. the baby newborn is a high risk, the high risk. So the mom, and not only the mom, all the caregivers yes. also must wash hand thoroughly before touching the baby, okay? Yeah. If yeah. the mother having some symptom of cough and flu, might not be COVID, but any upper airway infection, yeah? The, what we call respiratory hygiene yeah they right. need to put on the mask because a lot of virus is spread through the droplets even without mm -hmm. coughing or sneezing just by talking you can spread mm -hmm. the germ as well the virus and to your newborn babies mm, okay bom, bom, bom. so much um uh you know for for skin to skin though I mean, you don't really have to worry about, you know, baby getting terjangkit ke apa semua. You don't really have to worry as a mom, is it? Ke macam mana? Yeah, unless the mom is, let's say, is sick itself, uh, mm -hmm. then you have to take precaution. But in the general rules, uh, even the mom is healthy, not sick, mm -hmm. yeah, when we talk, in fact, we also spread a lot of germ to the right, child. Right, true. Right, mm -hmm. so, yeah, so for be careful when you are forced falling sick, you must be careful, you must wear the mask. If you are healthy, in a pediatrician point of view, sometimes kissing, you have to be careful because they have yes. to the germ to the baby, right? Mm -hmm. Then what about the hand? We have to clean our hand. You might not use a very harsh alcohol because alcohol 70% only can kill the virus, including COVID. Mm -hmm. You can uh, generally, you can use a soap and water at home before touching your baby. That's a precautious mm -hmm. measure you should make right okay okay so now uh we move on to the third concern okay yeah um the breastfeeding our baby okay can a covid 19 infected uh infected mothers breastfeed their baby all right this is a very very good question very very sensitive question and also in fact in one minute I cannot answer all. Let me go step by step. Never. We right? have a lot of time. Yeah. You can yeah. you can explain <laughs> on your mind. <laughs> yeah. First of all, you must know this COVID virus is a novel virus. It's a new virus for all, including for the healthcare providers like us as a doctors. Right. So, yeah. but so far up to date, there is no data to show that the virus can be transmitted through the breast milk. But <gasps> there's still a lot of uncertainty. Mm -hmm still a lot okay. of uncertainty yeah right so if according to who mm -hmm. if the mom is covid positive yeah they still encourage the breast feeding but they encourage the mom to express the milk all right, right. then you give separately in the separate uh, the room all right Ooh, okay but if the mom is let's say is COVID positive but asymptomatic. It doesn't like she doesn't cough or flu, whatever. 
if they okay. insist to go for direct retching, the okay. PSO is okay, encouraged to do that. Oh, okay. but, but for Malaysia context, okay. yeah, because we know that the transmission of the COVID can be go for what we call the horizontal transfer. That means mom is COVID positive. The mom mm -hmm. can transfer the virus to the baby by just in the close proximity, like within one True. meter. Okay, True. so the hygiene sense is very important. Yeah. Right. So in the such a case, because that transmission is so high, so there's a guideline from the Ministry of Health to follow. It's like this. Mm -hmm. If the mom is either COVID positive or under investigation, she's still unsure. That means uh, she has a symptom of cough and flu. There is a contact with somebody. That means the mom is under suspicious. There's a term we call PUI, patient under investigation. Right. Or you already confirmed COVID. Uh -huh. So there's a one term we call, if let's say the mom wants to give breastfeeding, so healthcare providers will discuss with the mother and the father what we call in shared informed decision making in okay. breastfeeding. So we have to tell the parents, look, we have uncertainty whether the virus will spread to the baby by the breast milk or not. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we know the importance of breast milk is a complete right. nutrition for your baby, yeah, whatever I think everybody knows. Yes. So in a such a case, we will give an informed shared decision making. If the mom insists, mom, want to give breast milk, yeah. can. But we have to tell them that that's a risk. All right? So you have to and take the risk. Yeah, some some hospital they had to sign a form. Okay, we mm. already inform you there's a risk, although we are mm. uncertain. If anything, baby get infected, that's a mm. risk. So you have to sign mm. a form. All right. Mm. So if let's say the mom have to give breastfeeding in this condition, if mm. the mom is symptomatic, is coughing, we will ask them to express the milk. Then you give in another isolation room. If the mom is Asymptomatic, no cough, nothing. If you want to direct mm -hmm. matching, can. Respiratory hygiene, mask, sanitize, everything, direct matching is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if let's say the mom, after listening to us, oh, that's a risk of transmission. So mm -hmm. they say, okay, I don't want to give breast milk. But mm -hmm. we will urge them, never mind, you wait for your COVID positive treatment complete. Okay. Or for those under PUI, the PUI, uh, PUI put under investigation, wait for your results, see whether positive or negative. Mm -hmm. So during this period, mom can express the milk and discard and discard. So don't give mm -hmm. to the baby. But everything clear, they may receive the treatment, mom already recovered from COVID. Then mm -hmm. they can continue the breast milk after that. Yeah. So you mean like um all uh, actions for whatever parents you know parents yang ingin breastfeed and sebagainya it's all up to you actually okay whether you want to breastfeed or not tapi uh, the risk is what you have to take lah kan uh, but yes. uh, i guess is it the way that you, you told us it's not really that risky lah i mean hopefully lah kan because everything is uncertainty, it's a new virus. Yeah, in fact, a lot of new right. data come in every day by day. True. But for sure, so far up to date, there's no virus being uh, uh, identified from the breast milk. Yeah. So if let's say the mom is confirmed COVID positive, of course, the baby will be tested mm -hmm. for the COVID. Mm -hmm. If both are positive, mm -hmm. also, we also urge the mom, look, maybe you can discard the milk first. Yeah. After you get the treatment, a baby mm -hmm. get the treatment, everything recover, mm -hmm. then you can continue the breast milk. But of course, mm -hmm. some mothers really insist on breast milk. Must yes, go for yes, breast yes, milk. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Betul, so betul, they yeah. have to sign, they have to sign a, a kind of a, 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 a disclaimer for telling that uh, mm -hmm. we, as the healthcare provider, already told you there's a, what yeah. we call share informed decision making between right. the parents, including the father mm -hmm. as well, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So yeah, to all mummies out there, uh, if you want, you know, more clarifications, bagaimana, you can always uh, bagi another uh, uh, bagi soalan lagi. You know, na, you can write down, jot down your um, questions below at the comment section. And Dr. Chin boleh menjawab ke segala korang punya um, persoalan yang terpimpinya selama-lama ini. Okay, kita ada Puyeng T. Dia kata, do we need antibacterial shower bath for baby? Alright. I think most important, the cleanser must be gentle to the baby skin. Yeah, they must be mm -hmm. a special formulator for the newborn baby skin. Yeah, and parents must know the baby skin very fragile, very thin. It's about 30% thinner than our adult skin and very sensitive. So I normal general bath, I don't think you need to give a so-called antibacterial shower gel for your baby. Because you must know, you're going to kill the good germ in our skin. Because our skin also we put a lot of good germs, you know. So it's not necessary at all. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Kita akan teruskan lagi dengan soalan-soalan reviewer semua. Korang sabar aja sebab kita ada uh, our uh, third, is it third or fourth uh, concern? Fourth. Okay, fourth concern kita untuk immunisasi ataupun immunization. Okay. Mm. A lot of moms also ask us, ya, doktor kan, if it, if, if is it okay to delay the vaccines for babies since it's not safe to go out? And if yes, how long can we delay this? All right. Sometimes when you say unsafe to go out, sometimes at home you might be not safe at all if all the yes. family member not adopt it. Huh? Personal hygiene, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, so uh -huh. I think along the way to go out, you are in the car, it's okay. And of course, you must make sure the hospital or clinic has actually transformed. Huh? Like what mm -hmm. I, we have discussed in the, the question one, yeah. that uh, all the, not only the doctor, but nurses as well, uh, do some precautions, all that. So I think should be fine. Then second thing, you must think of this uh, vaccine. Is that important to do it now? In mm -hmm. fact, according to the, our doctor, Nohisha, our DG also mentioned, mm -hmm. first six months vaccine, very important, don't delay. Right. We have the reason for that. So how should I explain? Yeah, the most important, you must see what we call the infectious index. We call R0, R stand for reproductive number for every right. infection. For example, polio, it can infect about 5% around that patient what we call R05, measles, champa, uh, can spread about 15 to 18 percent around the patient. So the R0 is a 15 to 18. COVID-19, do you know what is R0? 3.5. 3.5 mm -hmm. means if I get infected by COVID, I can spread about 3 to 4 percent around me. So the mm -hmm. infectious is not as great as measles, even chicken is higher than COVID. And yes. most important, yeah, the baby is very fragile for six months. Mm -hmm. They come to this world from the mother's womb. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're going to fight all the germ around him. Like for example, yeah. pertussis. Pertussis also, right? It, it, the R0 is higher. Not mistaken, it's about five to eight, something like that. So mm -hmm. the primary vaccine should be given between six months. Right. Only thing there's a range. For example, at birth, the child received the BCG, mm -hmm. hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. After one month, the child supposed to go for hepatitis B second dose. Yes, true. Yeah. true. But because of the MCO root block, the hepatitis B can be given after second month. That means two to three months is okay. Mm -hmm. You can combine the together with the pertussis all together we call six in one. That's the mm -hmm. vaccine that we six in one. All right. right. So basically, in, yeah. Basically, in conclusion, the first six months, what we call primary vaccines, very important. Yeah, but they are what we call the booster. For example, mm -hmm. at the eighteen months, uh, the booster to enhance the vaccination that has been given okay. earlier. That one you can okay. wait from eighteen months to two years old. It's okay. All right. Ah. Yeah. So then come for uh, yeah. Then come from uh come to the missile champa. Uh, now we know okay. more giving just champa alone is MMR missile mums uh bugo and the chicken uh, uh the, and the rubella. Yeah, yes, uh, the German yes. missile. So MMR mm -hmm. is supposed to gi be given at nine months now, nine months. Okay. The okay. one also very important, don't delay, because in Malaysia, on and off, we have a small outbreak, like recently in Betul. Sabah, we have a polio, we have a champak missile. So I think once your child is nine months, 
building MCO should go for the MMR. Right, okay. So, but I put some nanya. I got my younger son, though. Uh, he oh. was supposed to go for vaccine. Uh, masa awal awal PKP like two weeks ago. But then we thought, which I'm because he's already like um uh almost one year. I mean, uh, yeah. So we don't we don't mind. I mean, like to delay it, okay. Mm. But remember to all moms out there okay don't delay any important vaccines as immunization uh, immunization immunization you need yeah. for babies under six months are very very important okay as they help to protect babies from infections jadi kena kalau boleh uh, buatlah uh, appointment macam dengan doktor ataupun pediatrician yes. anda okay so for the fifth uh, concern kita pula ini soalan lagi daripada mummy mummies out there uh for keeping moms and babies protected all right so how do i keep myself and my baby protected and safe during this time yeah and what else can moms do to ensure baby's health development all right i think uh during the confinement of first month mom mm -hmm. and baby yeah should be relatively healthy because mom mm -hmm. Uh, she doesn't go outside because the, only the ketua rumah will go out and buy all the sayo whatever yeah all right yeah mm. so i think generally for the mom and the baby what i mentioned just now the skin bonding skin to skin mm -hmm. touching very important mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you can uh, take the precautious measure that means every time you touch your baby wash your hand mm -hmm. it's good mm -hmm. enough right yeah. with soap and water all right mm -hmm. if you have a mouth syndrome of lump, not even the whatever just like fever or cough and flu you just wear your mask okay mm -hmm. then you can continue breastfeeding as usual okay i think here what i want to emphasize is the other household contact that means other family members including the ketua mm -hmm. ruma all right when you go out you might bring in the germ might not be covid when we are the germs as well yeah true, Come true. In, go to shower take shower wash everything and clean then only go and touch your baby all right Really? Of course, other elder sibling, brother, sister will kiss the baby, whatever should be yes. avoided. Right? Yes. So, whatever yes. it is, I think general rules, because you know the transmission of the virus, of course, now we talk about COVID, it's by the tablet. Okay? So, if you have cough and flu, whatever, because sometimes you don't test it. You know, one more thing I want to emphasize is COVID mm -hmm. children are always asymptomatic. Usually, they have mm -hmm. a high fever, little bit of sore throat, and cough, that's all. So if you have any history of contact, just go for the mm -hmm. test, right? Mm -hmm. Because you must know newborn baby, they are the high risk group. If you get COVID positive, very dangerous, just like the yeah. elderly population. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have any symptom, then careful. Then for the all these uh, kissing, kissing, try to avoid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think a general is uh, just a wash hand before you touching your small newborn baby, right? No mm -hmm. kissing. Mm -hmm. There you go, nampak tak? No yeah. kissing eh. So, um, yeah. concerns juga eh untuk, um, um, I mean like, there are certain people yang ada family yang ramai, you know, they went, when, when, when PKP ataupun MCO, uh, uh, before uh, MCO ataupun PKP, the family members decided to like stay together, you know, like all of them, you know, in their parents' house. So it becomes yeah. many people. So we cannot really like, avoid uh, people coming in and out because you know sometimes they're so stubborn you know what I mean so how mm -hmm. can we you know uh, prevent these people you know to I mean, advise these people to you know not come close to our children you know because we as parents we know our our you know um, uh, but yeah. other people how can we yeah certainly <laughs> difficult if let's say without yeah. this COVID outbreak not easy to control especially you no know, you no know, elderly they like this to do yes oh, oh, so, so nice. true yeah yeah but but now with the COVID, it's kind of indirectly teaching teaching to the you know the people but anyway i think uh, most important this virus also spread uh, other than droplet in the LO saw is a general is a general rules right? apply to apply to any virus well if okay. any chance you can open the window uh, flush a good air in flush a, or uh, good ventilation in the room mm -hmm. okay because mm -hmm. usually in the closed compartment in the air conditioned room is not good it spread the germ easily all right mm -hmm. then adopt your general hygiene when you sneeze whatever whatever you have a problem even just a fever 
don't go uh-huh. into the your your baby's room yeah this is a king or yeah. queen's room yeah don't come in yeah. because it spread very easily Be- although although mom giving breast milk there's a lot of passive uh, antibody passing from the mom to the baby but we do know this virus also get protected or not with the breast milk although generally it can be protected so mm-hmm. you that's why i said usually first six months baby seldom mm-hmm. fall sick we are during pregnancy mom also give a lot of passive uh, mm-hmm. antibody to the baby then continuous with the breast milk is the best so yes but what i think is first six months the child is very fragile whatever yeah. Uh, problem you have just a little bit of fever just don't grow near so i think indirectly with this covid outbreak is a good teaching for all of us yes yeah that's yes. so true that's so true okay uh so i want to summarize by late the one uh the topic that the concern that we have just now okay that you said that skin to skin contact is very important to help babies development to make uh so make use of stay home time to bond with their baby to develop more skin to skin bonding opportunities such as bathing, uh, massaging the baby, and then uh, make sure to choose the gentlest product for babies, you know. So, of course, I'm a user of Johnson & Johnson since my first baby, okay. He's seven years old now, okay. Wow. And, um, uh, like, uh, babies, Nanya, their skin, their need, they, they need a special kind of care. So, it's really important to choose the gentlest, paling lembut punya, punya product, okay, that designed for pro, uh, newborn sensitive skin, okay, and uh, when it comes to gentle products, of course, is Johnson's Cotton Touch Top to Toss, is Johnson's Cotton Touch Top to Toss. Mm-hmm. Once it come out to the harsh world, uh, you put on acorn, yeah, all the friction on the clove, right, especially baby from the family history of allergy problem, like for example, parent with asthma, allergic nose, yeah, the uh-huh. child has a tendency to develop dry skin and eczema, right? Yes. That's more, far true. more important that parents should really take care of your child's skin very well. True, true, true. Yeah. Um, so in addition to that, Johnson's Cotton Touch Top to Toe Bath and Lotion is formulated, eh, doctor, to be ultra light and gentle, blended with 100% natural cotton to enhance mother's loving touch. Ah, gitu. Macam, kononnya macam mother lebih lebih touch tu sama-sama tu. This, the, this, sama-sama gentle dia maksudnya, okay? And yeah. bila mandikan tu, okay, abah mandikan itu is blended with 100 uh, natural cotton, rinses easily, residue free, and leaves skin soft and clean. Lotion dia pula is very unique, water-based lotion blended with natural cotton, lightweight, leaves no unwanted residue, nourishes baby skin from first use, okay? It has no added parabens, uh, petalates uh, or dyes for both bath and lotion. Okay, um, as a pediatrician kan, Doc, kan? Um, um, apa yang paling bagus sebenarnya? You know, you know, you know, you, you know that kalau baby kan, uh, they have, like you said, uh, very sensitive skin, okay? Like my son, all the, uh, my three sons ada eczema, okay? Mm. But they have no problem after using Johnson's, okay? So, Kenapa you uh, rasa patut anak-anak kita menggunakan Johnson's ni? Okay, I think the uh, first, you must go through a very stringent research to make mm-hmm. sure the product is hypoallergenic, right? Yes. Because some Ad, product... Ada, it, hmm. ada orang yang tak faham apa tu hypoallergenic, Doktor. <laughs> in fact, in our life, right, we should be in a balance, no? anything, right, in our blood also like the hormone hormone you cannot be hyper yeah. hyper is hyperthyroid you call it thyroid or hypo hypothyroid they mean you are very slow something like that oh, but, okay yeah we, what we call it like that's why you saw you see our drink is called isotonic iso mean balance cannot hypertonic right. hypotonic also cannot yeah right. but for the skin care for the skin care yeah because we already know the child already has some sensitive skin right then that word hypoallergenic is the good to apply on. Then right. you should ask me, what do you mean hypoallergenic? Okay, mm-hmm. it means because some product they will add on a lot of preservative, mm-hmm. coloring, or maybe some flavor to enhance yes. some people to, to enhance for the acceptance. But mm-hmm. all this it can be allergenic to the baby skin. True. Mm-hmm. So with the term hypoallergenic, so it 
has no this kind of thing like for example paraben or this is not the irri not irritant to the baby skin mm -hmm. all right so some mm -hmm. of course in the market some product they put so-called organic something like that yeah mm -hmm. organic but the thing sometimes they add on some so-called the natural the term yeah even the plant is a natural but it, the uh -huh. ingredient sometimes also can be allergenic to the baby true, skin true. yeah so I think the, 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 the parents should have a knowledge, yeah, not because of the term natural or whatever organic, you should look for the ingredient inside. Mm -hmm. What are the ingredients inside that can be allergenic to your pay, uh, the, the baby skin? Hmm, betul tu. Okay. So, kalau nak beli apa-apa produk untuk bayi anda, janganlah korang tengok daripada buku hadapan dia saja. Tengok organik, wow, bagus ni. You know what I mean? Hmm. Uh, kita yeah. baca itu kat bahagian, bahagian belakang ingredient dia, whether you know, dia punya uh, ingredient tu bagus-bagus ataupun yang bagus untuk anak kita ke tidak. Okay, now. Uh, so, uh, to all mummy yang tengah tengok, mungkin mummy bukan mummy saja, jadi daddies ataupun uh, mummy or daddy to be kat sini memang ramai yeah. orang yang tengah menanya soalan sekarang ni. Okay, so we have some time for a Q&A uh, session. Doktor okay eh? Steady? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, kita ada Prince Junior 8. Dia tanya, is it okay if we constantly use hand sanitizer before touching our baby? Hmm. Alright. Okay, about sanitizer also now, oh, certain because of MCO, so many products available in the market. In fact, mm -hmm. all these things are supposed to be registered with Ministry of Health, right? In fact, there's a mm -hmm. website to, to check whether uh, the registration or not. Because some of them, they claim also, they claim, uh, oh, it's a natural, mm -hmm. whatever, ever can kill 99.99 yeah. .99 virus, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, like that. No, yeah. Go back to basic, like WHO, Ministry of Health recommend, uh, as, as long as you have a 70% alcohol, you can kill the virus, okay? But the thing is, alcohol very hard. You can see, you see closer to my hands, very rough. Yeah, alcohol yeah. is very irritating. So yeah, this true. mother is a good question. I have also in my mind. Yeah, because after you, alcohol actually is for those like me, very lazy to wash hand. So alcohol <laughs> vaporized, then you can see next patient. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Mama, if you at home, you just use soup and water, follow the step by step. Uh, 10 minutes how to wash that one also you mm -hmm. can see in the link whatever proper happy hand birthday washing. song <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah happy birthday song you are right yes <laughs> so luckily covid virus is easily killed by all this water and soap because True. you must know uh, covid virus is just a small particle of rna mm -hmm. covered by the membrane of protein so the protein mm -hmm. can be desaturated uh, destroyed by the soap mm -hmm. and water or right. our alcohol yeah and the virus is is very funny it's invis invisible enemy you know yeah. it actually how you know the size of virus corona is a 125 nanometer nm one two five nanometer so you can imagine how small the nanometer is if you're in the ruler you know one cm okay yeah one cm okay. you can cut small ten portion we call one millimeter one millimeter so after one millimeter, mm -hmm. you cut one million portions. One million is equivalent <laughs> to one nanometer. Wow. Oh Very my small. God. So sometimes you can imagine uh, this small virus, yeah. right? Can travel the whole world. It's travel the whole world, tumpa on the aeroplane and go. <laughs> yeah, betul, 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 yeah. betul. So, um, um, apa ni, Prince Junior dia add on lagi, dia kata because um, uh, the Chinese confinement time, we're not allowed to encounter with water. Ah, so, we can mm. only depend on hand sanitizer. Kalau macam tu mana pula, macam mana pula, tak boleh nak guna air, nak kena guna hand sanitizer, macam mana pula tu, doktor? <laughs> so, if let's say sanitizer after alcohol, then you can just wash with warm water before you touching your baby. All right. Of course, you can try and see after sanitizer with alcohol. When you go and touch your baby, see the baby's skin sensitive or not. Because sometimes it can be red. It's a kind of, of course, it's written to the skin. Yes, yes. So I will encourage you after alcohol sanitizer, just rinse with the water from the pipe. Uh, mm. Then get dry with a clean towel. Only you touch your baby. All right. 
Yes. Okay, kita ada Mary pula. Dia kata, what should I do if someone in my household has to be quarantined as PUI, person under investigations? How to avoid my baby uh, to avoid as much as possible? Macam mana nak avoid orang tu? Hmm. Not easy. Okay, then come back to the basic knowledge of close contact. So, as I mentioned it a bit, if you within one meter, fifth within one meter of this PUI or COVID positive, within one meter, if you close contact in fifteen minutes in one meter, fifteen minutes consider close contact. If you in the room, aircon room, two hours. Or in the car, also two hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in the household contact, is considered close contact. Yeah. But but if you really you don't have place to put the people with PUI, maybe your close lady, papa, mama. So uh -huh. I think the 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 healthcare provider, right, from the government yeah. or clinic kesihatan already give you some measures. Okay. So this person under PUI, pui. Patient under investigation, waiting for the mm -hmm. result between twenty four mm -hmm. to forty hours. He mm -hmm. must be in the room. Ah, uh, cannot come out. Mm -hmm. You offer the food, whatever. He's only one person using the toilet inside. Okay, mm -hmm. and you only if you really want to go in, you only allocate one person, only the same person to go in out. Okay, then this person mm -hmm. must after out disinfectant, shower, everything, wash, and try the baby. Don't really go near to this uh uh, ca uh uh this caregiver to the elderly. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's elderly. If of course it can, you have to separate the two houses. Yeah, if can sebenarnya kan? Yes. So, yes. but I mean, like uh, when you know, I think um that person yang PQ the pre pre person <laughs> under investigation tu. I think yeah. when they um jadi macam tu, they have to take responsibility lah betul lah doktor. Janganlah balik rumah yang ada baby betul tak? If ada pilihan, just go yeah. to some other place, rent a room ke apa nak? I don't know lah kan? Make know? a camp, make a camp outside the house. Camp outside. <laughs> Better like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, one more question. Cepat cepat. Uh, yeah. Does a mask offer a benefit to a normal newborn baby? Ada benefit ke untuk newborn newborn baby? No benefit. In fact, can oh, import choking to the baby. Yeah. Kesian, jangan. Yes. I always advise below two years, no need to wear mask for children. In fact, you don't simply wear mask. Then you think the child is very safe? No, the child will pull, touch her, and that even worse. It's a kind of a false sense of security. False mm -hmm. sense of security. Most important, right. hand hygiene. If the child really want to touch and hygiene, and our caregiver hand hygiene, because you know right. by contact, eye, nose, and mouth, the virus will go into our body. If you wear the mask first. Of course, I think you have a WhatsApp sharing the information how to make the mask smaller for babies because yeah. in the market very hard to wear yeah. uh, to get the mask. Yeah, uh -huh. but I think later on they will come a kind of fabric a reusable mask. It's a smaller size. It will be very useful for children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think below two years because breathing is very difficult for baby, especially you know baby breathing about fifty sixty times per minute. Ah, uh, adult about twenty mm -hmm. times. So they they are heavily very narrow, very small. So we yeah. can import choking hazard to the baby, not encourage. Jangan eh, jangan buat yes. cintu eh, mami dadis. Jangan kau nak jadi kreatif buat mas diri untuk baby kau. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so yes. good news, everyone. We will be releasing special voucher just for every single one of you, daughter. Yes, yes. Everybody so enjoy this talk. voucher. Three, two, one. Tada! Okay, Dr. Mungkin tak nampak tapi sebenarnya dekat screen sekarang ni ada keluar voucher kat situ so they can buy oh, Johnson's product. Wow, All right. cheaper All right. price. Okay, so that's the end for today's session, unfortunately. Uh, once again, thank you for all uh, yang join saya dan juga Dr. Chin. Thank you so thank much, you. Dr. Thank Chin. You. Yes. Okay, and we hope that together with Johnson's, we are able to share some valuable information to help ease your worries, mommies and daddies. And um, uh, thank you so much, Dr. Chin. I'll see you next thank time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
<laughs> so watch out for Wednesday pula Okay hari Rabu pada 29 April pukul 3 petang Kita akan kembali bersama dengan Dr. Chi sebenarnya Dan uh, untuk kita punya staying safe with our child by Avino Baby We'll be discussing with Dr. Chin on protecting infant skin um, Apa ni uh, dan yang pastinya anda kena nantikan topik yang menarik itu okay So sekali lagi kita akan release kan Wow kita akan release sekali lagi Hebat belanja korang sekali lagi. Kita akan release sekali lagi voucher untuk anda semua. Are you guys ready? Tiga. Tiga. Dua. Satu. Voucher, voucher. Voucher, voucher. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Please enjoy the voucher guys. Dan teruslah shopping keperluan anak-anak anda. Alright. Uh, thank you so much again. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Stay. And please, 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 kawan-kawan, please follow Johnson and Johnsons.os to find out more about the latest release and special promotion in Shopee. And yang pastinya, Johnson and Johnsons official store page ini is the only, ah, uh, the only one yang kurang kena follow. Okay, ah, uh, boleh follow juga dalam your Facebook and Instagram to know more about caring for babies and your kids. And yes. Saya rasa dah cakap thank you 80 kali. Dah cakap sekali lagi lah. Thank you again everyone. Stay safe, stay, stay healthy and have a good day ahead. Do also catch our brand new show called Menu Saho. Wow, the Menu Saho pula every Monday starts 8.30pm tonight. Okay, so stay tuned. Saya Ira Mawamin. Assalamualaikum.